Hi guys, thanks for tuning into this Scan Tool Network video. In this video, we're looking at the Foxwell NT680 Pro Kit, and uh, in particular, we're in a BMW 3 Series, which has the ABS and traction warning lights showing on the system there, on the dashboard. Sorry. So we're going to use this tool to hopefully diagnose that today. Now, this tool is available just by clicking the link directly below this video. This uh, this is a genuine product. Uh, if you follow the link in the description, it will take you to the genuine listings. Unfortunately, there are fakes, there are clones out there on the market. Market, um, and it's very difficult to tell the fakes from the clones um, the only way you can really find that out is if you're paying a lot less and then you get the tool and it just won't work as it should uh, so make sure you follow the link if you are interested in this tool but uh, enough of me rambling about that uh, we're going to click into we've got this hooked up to the diagnostic port we're going to click into diagnostic and we're going to select our vehicle which is a European manufacturer it's BMW so we select BMW going to go manually select our vehicle which is a 3 series it's an F31 um, turn, turn off ignition well that doesn't really matter in fact you can still diagnose it with the, the ignition on or the engine on so we'll go to chassis and ABS DSC if we go to read codes Okay, so we've got a fault code here, 48082A, wheel speed sensor, voltage supply, short circuit to B plus rear right. So basically the answer is telling us wheel speed sensor and it's rear right. That is the information we need to know. That is the information which is telling us that the rear right ABS sensor or wheel speed sensor is actually faulty. So that needs to be replaced. Now, one, once we replace that, um, we haven't replaced it, but once it's been replaced, we can then uh, come back and click on to clear fault codes. Once we clear fault codes, it will get rid of these warning lights. Um, I'll show you what happens if you try to clear a code and it, it doesn't act. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show you what happens if you try to clear a code but you haven't actually fixed the fault so if we click on to clear codes see the lights have gone off there but they've come straight back on because what's happened is you've told the ECU that you've fixed the fault so it's attempted to clear the codes the ECU's done a quick scan a quick scan of the system and it said hang on a second this fault, this fault hasn't been fixed at all so I'm going to put the warning lights back on so that is that is ultimately how diagnostics work um, you need to clear the fault code to get rid of the warning lights but that is a quick demonstration of the, uh, the Foxwell NT680 Pro Kit it covers all manufacturers, all regions and it does a lot of maintenance functions as well uh, to scroll through here just to give you a quick idea but if you are interested in this kit as I say make sure you use the links in the description below this video because uh, there are fakes there are clones out there on the market and they will cause you nothing but stress hassle worry uh, and ultimately you're going to get a tool which doesn't do as it's supposed to uh, thanks for watching and I hope this helps